Thank you for tuning in to Billboard and Hollywood Reporter's Pride Summit. My name is Patrice Cullors. I'm an artist, I'm an organizer, co-founder of Black Lives Matter and chair of Reform LA Jails. I'm so excited to be here presenting Pride to all of you. Just wanna remind everybody that the first Pride March was actually an uprising, the Stone Stonewall uprisings. Uh, it makes me really remember and believe and radical intersectionality and how important and necessary it is right now as we're part of this larger conversation about Black, Black Lives Matter and everything else that's going on in the world. I am so grateful to be here. I'm a proud queer Black woman. I've been out since I was 16 years old. And I think we have so much to give younger queer and trans folks today. So welcome everybody. Over the last seven years, Black queer women have been at the helm of the Black Lives Matter movement. We've seen us take on some of the biggest forces in American politics, whether that's the Republican Party, the Democratic Party, law enforcement, um, bigoted white folks. We are um, currently in an uprising. I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to really ground us in what moment we're in. Um, almost three weeks ago, George Floyd was killed. Just a couple days before that, Breonna Taylor. And weeks before that, we witnessed the brutal murder of Ahmaud Arbery. This conversation about anti-Black racism is not just for the Black community, it's for every single one of us. Now is the time for white folks across gender, sexual orientation, um, to stand up for Black lives. We need everybody right now. Seven years ago, it was radical to say Black Lives Matter. Today, we're calling for defunding of the police. If we remember the Stonewall Uprising, the police played such a terrible role. We have to remember that so much of our taxpaying dollars go to over-policing our communities and our neighborhoods. It was not that long ago where queer folks in particular were criminalized for what they wore and for who we had sex with. So we have to be in direct alignment with one another. We have to hold each other up and our struggles. And we have to remember that Black Lives Matter was started by two queer Black women. Now is the time for us to show up for one another. Thanks. Today we will hear from artists and creatives representing all the different parts of the LGBT community. So excited to present them today, share them with you, uh, we need all of you. You are our heroes. Be safe. Stay connected. We love you.